What's up, y'all? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to decard your weed, your flower, your Mary Jane, your Doja, herb, hash, whatever you wanna call it. So first, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it without the mashed butter. But what? I'm not about to edit this either. <laughs> Without your magic butter decar box, there's an easy way to do it, but you're just gonna be smelling up your whole apartment or your whole house or whatever you live in. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do that, and it's gonna be real quick. So if you ain't never been here before, my name is Danny, and if you're coming from my main channel, what's up? I've been drinking wine, so yeah. Let's just get started. <laughs> And hopefully this time my background is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't have on a mesh shirt today and I got my ring light. So hopefully it's like the light is distributed evenly, even though I know it's not. Cause like right here, that's a whole separate video, but okay. Let me <laughs> just get started and give y'all what y'all came here for. Okay. So if you don't have one of these silicone concealed boxes, look, don't worry about my stove. I was cleaning it earlier today and my my little situation is, is soaking, okay, because it's oily. But <laughs> right here I got 14 grams. So I'm just going to throw it in this little, what is this, like a, uh, this is a K-pan. So I'm just going to throw this in this K-pan. I don't think you need to cover it. I don't think that's necessary. But you can if you want to. But I got my oven set to 240. Yeah, I got my oven set to 240. Which is where it should be at. And you're just going to bake this for about 40 minutes. This should be like toasty. Let me put y'all in some light. Sorry. This should just look like a... Not a golden brown. But it should look toasted. So, like every... Every like... 10 minutes y'all need to check on it shake it up a little bit see what it's doing because you don't want to walk away from this okay make sure y'all do not walk away from this okay so i did break it up a little bit i did not grind it but i did break it up so so i'm just gonna put the top on top of it conceal it and this is in my uh, magical butter decar box okay Okay, so the Magical Butter comes with this thermometer right here, and they want you to set this to 250, because that's what they want your oven on. So, I'm going to stick this in the oven to make sure that this is what the oven temperature is right here, and then I'm just going to put everything inside. So, I know if my oven is above or below this, that I need to adjust my temperature of my oven. Everybody's oven is different, so you just got to make sure that your oven is on 250. Okay, so mine's is at 254. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And if you could tell right here, my line is lining up with probably a little less than 250. So I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Oh, actually, mine's at 273. 278. 283. So apparently my oven runs hot, so I'm going to turn it down even some more. It's at 290. Okay, y'all, so I'm just going to put my box in there. Because this box is going to take a minute to heat up to that temperature. Can I get in there? <laughs> okay, so I put my box in there now and I'm just gonna leave that in there like that and close it up. So 
so once it reaches 250 that's when I'm gonna start my 30 minutes because that's how long it's supposed to be in there so 30 minutes from the time that it hits 250 not 30 minutes from the time that you put it in there does that make sense it should it's not that hard to understand <laughs> and I still have my oven turned down to like 225 so we're just gonna see how that works out I must, I must have some uh, cheap batteries because I don't know why this thing glitching. <laughs> okay, y'all, so it didn't take long for mine to get to the temperature that it's supposed to be. It took about maybe five to eight minutes, but it keeps going down between like 245 and like 257. So I keep adjusting. Well, I just only adjusted my, um, my oven one time and it's sitting at about, I know y'all can't see. But this, let me see, it's at like 2.30 and it's beeping at 2.55. So I'm probably just cut this up some to 2.60 only so I don't hear it beeping over and over and over and over and over again. In the manual, it tells you um, what it should be at. I don't think three degrees more is going to really change it, but like every 10 minutes I'm going to go into my oven and kind of like shake it up some but it seemed like it's kind of stable right around here so 253 is okay for me not to be you know keep adjusting my temperature right here so I'm going to leave it at that okay y'all so it's been about 30 minutes so I'm going to just take my stuff out and I ended up keeping my temperature at focus at about 225 and it kind of really stayed at it stayed between like 250 and 255 so it all depends on your oven so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like okay y'all so that's what it looks like now out the oven I'm just gonna put it down because <laughs> I almost lost it all. What it's looking like now? Do not drop that because if I drop that in that hole, it's a wrap. Uh, <laughs> that was almost a hundred dollars down the drain. But anywho, <laughs> let me cover it back up because I'm starting to smell it. But um, so that's how you decarb your flour, your weed, your marijuana, your pot. Yeah. But anyways, I hope y'all like this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to make cooking oil with this. That way you can make your brownies, your cupcakes, just your cookies, your any kind of dessert that you want that you can use with oil. So I hope y'all like this video and y'all will see me in the next video. Bye y'all. Well, that was the back of my shit. <laughs>